Hey everyone and welcome back to the Amber Living Vlog. This is Beyond Film School and I'm Amber and today we're talking about whether or not there needs to be a union for production assistance. You might have noticed that I have a new uh, thing going on here, different than my other videos. If you like it, if you don't like it, let me know in the comments below. If you don't like it, please don't tell me because you'll just crush me and I'll be very upset. Before we get into the video about production assistance and them having a unit, I just want to talk about what's going on with Beyond Film School. First things first, please visit beyondfilmschool.com. I have networking events that I post. I basically handpick these events. I search high and low for them and I put them on my website to bring them to you. Most of them are free. I also have a film blog and I have a production assistance and training happening. My friend Amy Clark, Amy Clark Films, she has an ebook that is pretty much a step-by-step -step guide. I find it super useful and uh, the truth, basically. <laughs> Everything that I would have said how to get work in the film industry is basically in this book. I think it's super useful for someone just starting out and has no idea where to start. So check that out. All these links are below if you want to check them out and uh, let's get to the video. If you saw in my last video, I talked about how I do not think that there should be a production assistant union and I kind of stopped there and I left everyone in shock and awe. And what I said was that it's an incentive for you to move out of that position, to move up and go where you need to go. And because if you're not trying to be an AD, why are you going to do all these years as a production assistant? Why are you going to torture yourself this way? Oh, and I think people who want to be lifetime production assistants are the ones pushing for the union, but I could be wrong, who knows. There's a lot of gray area in this, so uh, you know, let's get started. There's a group on Facebook that kind of discusses a production assistant union and it kind of has been in talks for like a decade, probably even more than that because, you know, I stepped on the scene in the film industry like a decade ago, so I... It's probably been talked about for decades and decades. It never came to be a thing. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. There's not really a lot of unions around, but the film industry has a strong union, but then there's a whole department that doesn't have a union for them. So it's kind of like, what? When I talk about a union, some people might not even know what I'm talking about. So a union meaning that there's someone protecting them. Let's see, making sure that they get overtime, making sure that there's meal penalties, making sure that no one is getting abused on set, basically. So why wouldn't, why shouldn't, why couldn't you have that for PAs, right? So that's the question, is that the PAs deserve a union. I talked about how you know, not getting paid for lunch and working through lunch. That happens to PAs a lot of the time, depends on what show you're on, but you're most likely working through lunch with a fire watch or maybe you're doing something and whatever, maybe you're doing paperwork, you're working with first team, doing background things, but either way you might be working through lunch, whereas if it was a prop person, a HMU, it was a wardrobe person, it was a grip, an electric, any of these people would be like, no, I get a break, I'm not working through my lunch, F that. Unions usually mean protection. In order for a union to form, there has to be like a bargaining chip. The PAs, first of all, we all have to agree they're not gonna, we're, that we're not gonna work, and I don't feel like that's ever gonna happen. Basically, what that means is that there's nobody that is going to be a PA. And I don't care if you get all the staff PAs and all the PAs that have been working in the industry together and we all boycott the film industry and we all go on strike, there's like a million other college students that are gonna jump right into our position <laughs> and they wouldn't even bat an eyelash at us. They're like, oh, sorry guys, this is my opportunity to shine. Because it's so desperate sometimes for people who wanna find work and they wanna break in. All these poor film students <laughs> and just college graduates who are just waiting for their moment to get into the industry. It takes a lot of organizing. It takes a bargaining chip that basically I think would never work because like there's always gonna be someone to fill that slot. And they're always gonna go with someone that's willing to take the job. And that's the problem in the film industry is that there's always someone willing to work for free, willing to work for less and less money, and willing to do anything, even if it's unsafe. I think another pro of having a union would be that maybe you would probably get paid more for the stress that we go through. If there was a PA union, there's no saying that someone wouldn't move out of that spot. So it's not fair to say that it's an incentive for someone to move up out of it if there is no union. I think that people would still follow their dreams or goals or ambitions, even if there was a union, but I feel like it would just be a lot harder because you're getting fair pay, you would get overtime, you would get meal penalties, and you would be protected. So I think it would be 
a massive deterrent of someone actually moving on. PAs don't have a union out of everyone on set, it makes you wonder, like, why wouldn't there be one? Well, in order to get into those unions on set, to officially get into those unions, say you're in prep department, set dressing, whatever department, whatever the case may be, you start doing those days, and I think you have to do a number of days before you actually can enter the union officially. So I think that there needs to be a well thought out plan, which <laughs> um, time has told us that and there are many people who debate this online about the production assistants having a union because if there's if if you can just step on set as an entry level position and then be in the union, I feel like that's just not fair to everyone else because they had to work so hard to get in it. They owed all these days and they got certain training, they had to get you have to go to certain classes and stuff like that and be certified in certain things before you can be in those unions. Uh, and they're all different. So I don't know if it would be fair to have just out out the gate be in a PA union. There has to be some type of scale. So if like your first timer every day additional versus a day player additional PA versus um, staff PA versus <laughs> like there's so many different levels I think that that needs to be discussed when it comes to the union. What would be the scale? How would we form this? Who would organize this stuff? So there's been people trying to organize a union for the PAs and they have failed. And why? Because it's hard to start a union because there's no bargaining chip that anyone can come up with that's good enough to make sure that the producers and the people who run these shows and movies would hire unionized PAs. There's no incentive. They want to pay all the PAs the minimum wage. We understand it's hard to organize. I mean, when we're talking about unions, we're not, we're talking about like the workforce, labor. It's not even just film industry. It's like all industries nationwide. And the, I don't want to say it, it sound like a conspiracy theorist, but like, when you talk about unions, it gets kind of scary because the government or managerial people and business owners don't like unions because they lose money. And it's all about money. Basically, it's all about money. And it's so sad that it is about money. But if producers had to pay PAs the same amount they had to pay crew members, it would be millions and millions of dollars every year that they don't want to pay. <laughs> Collectively, millions and millions of dollars because Right now, the going rate for a PA in New York City is 15 an hour, 22.50 overtime. And if, if a production is really nice, they'll give you holiday time. They'll make sure you're paid those two days at Thanksgiving and they, you know, they'll make sure to give you the holiday pay at President's Day or Fourth of July or wherever the hell you're working. And But then, oh yeah, sometimes you'll get paid for lunch, you know, because the show that I'm working on now, we get a straight... We don't have like a break in our time. We get paid for our lunch, which is great because sometimes we're working during lunch, which is kind of a bummer. This really makes it sound like I'm not in favor of a fair wage, but I am because I believe everyone should be paid a fair wage. And I'm really glad that the show that I'm in, we shoot in New Jersey and we match the new New York City minimum wage um, hike. So they got paid more and so did New Jersey, which is great because all shows don't need to do that. But when I talked to, it's funny, as I had an issue, I had to talk to accounting and payroll and they were like, well, because I had to ask if background was gonna get that, um, the hike, the rise in pay. And they were like, well, if we didn't, no one would come work for our show. And I was like, totally right. And I think, I don't know, 15 an hour is great. But if it wasn't for the federal, if it wasn't for them raising minimum wage, then I probably would still be getting paid like crap if I went to a union show. So it all depends. And we're not even talking, this is all union stuff, like union shows. I haven't even talked about indie stuff because, I mean, indie stuff, like I could get paid 210 on a union show as a PA, but only like 150 on an indie shoot, 125 sometimes. And when I'm an AD and I hire PAs, I really fight for the wage for the PAs. I really do. I don't want them paying for meals. I don't want them paying for travel. I want them to make as much money as they possibly can and no one to be an asshole to them because I don't want them to be stressed out. I want them to just be happy on set and learn what they can. Also, if there was a union, it'd be a lot harder for people to break into the industry. I think that is a fact. If there was, you know, an initiation fee, because when you're in a union, you have to pay dues and you owe money to the union. So <laughs> first of all, we'd have to have higher wage and then we have to pay dues to the union. So we're not going to let anyone just get into the union. So I know 
and union could just really complicate things as as far as PAs go. I really want to know what you think. Tell me what you think about whether or not there should be a PA union uh, because it really there's so many arguments that could be made for or against and I'm really curious of what you guys think about whether or not there should be a union for the PAs. I mean I'm I mean if, if it got organized I I think I'd be for it but then like if I had to work to be a PA and then I'm like I'm already working towards getting to the DGA it's like god Jesus so much hard work but I'm um, you know I guess nothing in life is easy nothing in life that's worth having is easy or whatever the hell that phrase is I don't know while there is not a union in place let's just hope that the people you work for the producers and the ADs that you work under are having your back you know they have your back and they have your safety in mind god I hope so because there are some producers that just don't they don't give a fuck which I hope that if you find yourself in a situation where you feel unsafe or you feel, you know, discriminated against or whatever the case may be, where you just don't feel right, you just leave that job and fucking move on to the next thing because there's another gig coming. There's another gig coming, I promise. All right, that is it for now. That's, this has been a video on whether or not there should be a production assistant union. I hope I've shed some light on the whole PA union thing. I don't know if I have. There's just so much gray area. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, all those links I talked about <laughs> earlier in the video are below. Again, if you want to thank me somehow, I don't know. Some people are like, please, Amber, let me thank you in some way. You can always just buy me a coffee, $3 coffee or $2 coffee or whatever. Keep me caffeinated so I can make more videos. And if you like the new style of video, please let me know. And if no one says I like it, then I'm going to probably just go back to the regular way. But then it limits me to just certain daylight and I don't like it. So, yeah, let me know. And feel free to ask me any questions. If you have any comments, concerns, anything you want to know, please feel free to email me or comment below. And uh, I'll get back to you. So that is it. And I shall see you guys next time.